traders. Sam Shakespeare coming to you live. How's everyone doing today? All right. Hey, Simon. What's up? What's up, Roberto? How's it going? I see you guys in the chat there. Michael. What's up, Michael? Hey, Pierre. Scott's in the house. What's up, guys? All right. So, listen, guys. I put 2.2 .2 in the download section. So, Fib Matrix VTA version 2.2 .2 is available. Uh, yes, it has the reversal bots in it. Also, the preemptive reversal is included. I'll probably be including the extended reversal soon. I actually... The preempted reversal is really nothing more than a one minute reversal. That's what it is. It's a one minute reversal. So I might even change the name just to keep everything a little tidy on version 2.2. So now we've got the preemptive reversal bot and the bounce I added too. So you guys have the bounce bot now. So you got your choices of one click or dynamic on the preemptive reversal. These settings are actually not a bad one to start with. 20 pip stop, which you probably won't use the stop or target, but they're good to have there. So it's going to be an L7 target just like all the reversals. Right now I've got trade management disabled on it. Risk factor 1.0. You might as well. It's a full-on trade. No scalings or nothing. Pips to 5 minute box. I think 5. I used to have 10 on this but I've added another setting. Uh, the white zone collapse I've added. So this is not as important with the white zone collapse but I think it can be important. So if you put it at 0 it will actually ignore where the 5 minute box is completely. I used to keep this at around 10. Uh, before I had the white zone collapse, I wanted to be a big enough gap between the two. Uh, but I think the collapse is a better indicator that it's about ready to return to the mean than it is the distance between the five minute box. But sometimes people use the whole point of the preemptive reversal is it's just a move from the one minute box to the five minute box where the five minute trend lives. And so you can give yourself 10 or 15 pips back to the five minute box and then use the five minute box as a target do stuff like that. Um, but I'm looking for an actual reversal on the one minute so that's what I've set this up to do. Minimum white zone phase for entry and white zone collapse has got to set to true. So if you have this set to true then you know to get a one minute white zone phase of one that means the trend will have gotten to a two and collapse back down to a one. So if it has not collapsed from a two to a one you will not get this trade just because it's a one. If it's expanded from zero to one it will not give that to you. Keep that in mind. If you want to put a 2 here and true here, then that means the move had to go to a white zone phase of 3, which we know those are pretty rare. Uh, so you'll get less entries. You'll probably get a better move back to the 1 minute box. All right. Defense target pips is 10 pips. That just means in the preemptive reversal, the L1 and L2 needs to be crossed in a certain way on the 1 minute. If those cross against you, then it'll start looking for the defense pips, just like all the, the other setups that have defense. True and true for targets and stops. I've got this using a swing stop. So it's going to it's going as soon as it makes a new low, if it's a long reversal, it'll just it'll exit. But those can get big sometimes, so you can manage the stops a little better using these up here if you like. Roadblocks for stop. This is just I put it to 4 to basically disable it. Sometimes if you, if you get a roadblock right near the price, it'll take you out too early. Um, and then I've got the L2 trail stop set to false. So I think this is a good way to approach the preemptive reversal. So go ahead and download your 2.2 .2 and you can activate this right away. If you haven't activated your reversal bot with me yet, you got to let me know. Then you got to let me know, okay? So I can update it for you. So I'm doing it the same way I do all the releases for the bots. I don't want to just turn someone on without them realizing it. You got to let me know you're ready for it and I'll activate it if you're a lifer. And you can go back, of course, and you know, I always recommend you go through the charts and you look for the collapses. So once you get the collapse and you get the L1 cross, you can enter on the next dynamic. Your whole thing about the reversal, preemptive or 5 or 15, is that you'll make it to the L7 before you make a new low when that happens. And I do implore you to go through your charts, 1, 5, and 15, and see how often that's true. 